Okay, everybody, this is chapter 24, problem 5. Uh, we're given the information that we have in this table here that uh, the quantities and the total price of karaoke machines and the quantities and the price of the CDs. And we're asked in the first part to calculate inflation using the consumer price index method with the basket of good being one karaoke machine, three CDs. So the first thing we have to do is we have to calculate the per unit price. And so for 2017, uh, the price is $40 for 10 karaoke machines, that equals $4. And it's $10 for 30 CDs, so it's 33 cents per CD. In 2018, then it's $60 divided by 12 karaoke machines equals $5. And we have $12 over 50 CDs equals 24 cents. And remember that to calculate the consumer price index, the formula is um, the current basket of goods over the base year basket of goods times 100. And so remember the basket of goods is one karaoke machine and three CDs. So the consumer price index for 2017 is 499 over 499 times 100 equals 100. The base year for the consumer price index is always going to equal 100. So for 2018, the CPI is $5.72 over 499 times 100 equals 115, and we're calculating inflation, which is the change in the price level. It equals the CPI for the current year minus the CPI for the base year over the CPI for the base year times 100, which equals 15. So we have 15% in inflation. The second part, that doubled. Let's move this off to the corner. The second part here is asking for us to calculate inflation using the GDP deflator. So the GDP deflator is a different way of measuring inflation, uh, and it's just a ratio of nominal to real GDP. So the GDP deflator is the ratio of nominal GDP over real GDP. Now nominal GDP is the current output at current prices and the real GDP is current output at the base year prices. So given our table our nominal GDP is 72. 72 nominal GDP. Right that's $60 plus $12 that's the quantity times the current price and quantity times the current price. Our real GDP, so this is nominal. Real GDP is going to be 48 plus 16.5, which equals 64.5. We get that 64.5 because it's the quantity in 2018 times the price, which was $4, plus the quantity times the price, which was 33 cents. So then the GDP deflator is just nominal divided by real GDP, and that equals about 12%. And notice that the two numbers are not different, which is, or sorry, the two numbers are not the same, which is the third question, are the two the same? Why or why not? Of course, the answer is no. And the reason is because the basket of goods for the different measures is different. The basket of goods for the consumer price index was one karaoke machine and three CDs, whereas the basket of goods for the GDP deflator was all goods produced in the economy during that period. So this was chapter 24, problem five.